Hello and welcome to Omron's quick tip video series. Hi there, in this video we're going to show you how to connect the MJ SQL version to an Oracle database. The setup happens under the host connection settings. Um, the first area you would go to is right here under the service settings. Uh, what I need you to check is right here. There's three modes. There's auto start operation mode, which means that the NJ will try to speak to the uh, SQL server. Auto start test mode, the NJ actually sends the SQL commands to the SD card and not out through the Ethernet port to the SQL server. This will create a list of SQL commands that you could copy and paste into your SQL server and see if they work. It's, it's for offline testing. Do not start automatically. What happens is the SQL service itself does not start up automatically and you would use uh, an instruction in the ladder program to enable and start up the SQL service. For now we're going to pick operation mode. There's three uh, other selections here. They're all logs for logging errors or logging for what happened. I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. So I'm going to move on. Then you would go to your connection settings and you would add a connection. Uh, the manual hints at the fact that you, all the connections would either have to be to SQL servers or Microsoft SQL and that you do not mix the two. So I've created uh, Oracle 9 and an Oracle 11 connection two separate databases running on separate computers. I'm going to pick Oracle 11 for now. What happens of course is when you create it you can rename it and this of course is the tag name that you will use in your program when you write the ladder to talk to this database. The first thing you do of course is pick which type of SQL Server this connection is for. Oracle SQL Server or Microsoft SQL Server is the other selection. We want Oracle in this case. In my case, I'm using a laptop running Oracle 11 and I know the IP address, so I picked the IP address and typed it in. On a larger system, you may uh, have a host name and the IT people could of course give you the host name. The port number, you can specify what port number for the uh, Oracle database this would be controlled by the IT people who run the Oracle database and in this case I was using the default and I was able to leave it omitted. I was not however able to leave the service name and JOracle1 omitted. I had to fill it in. This could have something to do with the way I set up my Oracle database. After that you must fill in a username and a password because what's happening here is we are logging into the Oracle database. The login timeout, I set 20 seconds, which is default. The other one you fill in is query execution timeout. So every time I do a query, I will wait so long before I create an error. This, of course, you would set um, specifically to your application. How quickly are, lo are you logging? How quickly do you need to know? that you are not going to get an answer. Um, you can't leave it at zero, so I set it to two. The next thing I did was go online. Sorry. The next thing you have to do is rebuild the controller to, to accept all these uh, corrections you've made. And then of course you would have to online, uh, you would have to go online Then you would synchronize, but I've already synchronized, so I'm fine. And then I do a communications test, Then my communications test is okay. Two possible errors that sometimes pop up, one saying that it cannot connect, which basically means connection between the NJ and the SQL Server. It basically can't find it at an Ethernet level. And the second one, of course, is that it cannot log on because there's something wrong with the log on. Um, there is, if you right click on the settings, 
you can look at your uh, connection status. Of course, because we're testing, we did not stay logged on. But if uh, if we were log logged on for a longer time, this this would mean a bit more. Uh, there is operation logs up here, but again, I'm going to talk about that when I talk about the logs in a separate video. And that's it for now.